Hi folks, nice from high on Android.com where we get on Android every day. Anyway, I know many of you have trouble. I actually received um, a Kindle Fire and also a Nexus 10 in the last two months or something from one of my fans, two of my fans, and uh, they got stuck at a point. Oh, they did everything right, uh, but they got stuck where they they ended up with no OS booting. Um, but since the Kindle Fire and the Nexus 10 does not have an external micro SD, uh, they were trying to install ROM and they got stuck. They have Twerp or Clock My Recovery, but they could not they could not copy files onto the device. Now Twerp Recovery and Clock My Recovery both support ADB, uh, which means you can use ADB commands to copy files over when that happens to you. And also, if you have an OTG cable. Um, for Twerp recovery, you can use uh, OTG flash drive uh, to copy files over that way and install new ROMs. But let me show you this method of using ADB. It works on Windows, Mac, or Linux. Um, if you have an Android device, you know it works on any Android device that has clock mount recovery or Twerp recovery, and you don't have an external storage, and you're stuck without OS, and somehow you deleted everything on your Android device, you can use ADB to copy over your ROM files and recover your device and uh, you don't have to get mad over it. So let me go show you how to do this. Let's go do this, baby. All right, so whether you have an Android uh, tablet or Android smartphone, if this works on any of the latest Twerp and Clock Mode Recovery. First thing you want to do is um, boot into Twerp or Clock Mode Recovery. So I've got my Kindle Fire 8.9 here. Actually, this is not mine. Um, one of my fans here that sent me. Um, so what happened with this guy was that he got to the part, he got he installed Tor Recovery, uh, but he got stuck because he didn't know how to, you know, the the tablet would not boot into the Kindle Fire OS, uh, where he's supposed to copy the uh, clock, uh, the Sinogen Mod 11 files so he can install it. So he got stuck here and that's why he sent it to me. But all he had to do was boot into Tor Recovery and then go ahead and connect it to your computer via micro USB cable. So it does not matter if we're using a Galaxy Nexus, uh, One X, or you know a lot of devices that don't support um, you know external SD card, and you get stuck, you can't copy files to it. Um, you can use the ADB uh, method because uh, in Torp Recovery or Clock My Recovery, ADB still works. So you can use ADB commands. Uh, to transfer files. Also, Turb Recovery actually supports uh, OTG cable. So if you have an OTG flash drive or if you have an OTG cable, then you can connect the OTG cable and use any flash drive as a disk drive. But there are situations where you can't, you don't have the OTG cable. Then you can use this method. I use it all the time. So boot into Clockmar Recovery, Turb Recovery, connect it to your computer via micro USB cable, and let's go to our computer. All right, next what you wanna do is uh, open up Device Manager if you have Windows. Now, this will also work on Linux or Mac. If you have Linux or Mac, you don't need drivers. You can go ahead and skip this part. But if you do have Windows, I'm using Windows uh, 764 bit. Um, go ahead and open up Device Manager. And if you look here, uh, you'll find an exclamation mark. Uh, most likely for your device. So I've got, uh, since I'm using a Kindle, I've got exclamation mark for Kindle. Uh, if you're using like Galaxy Nexus, it might say Galaxy Nexus or it might say Android. Uh, find something that, you know, when you plug it in to your computer, it will show under other devices. So go ahead and update that with the latest, uh, the regular and um, regular uh, Android drivers. I'll have a link to this. You can download USB driver.zip here. Um, if you unzip this, you'll get a folder called USB driver. These are just standard uh, Android ADB drivers uh, straight from Android SDK and works on you know all Android devices, like all most of them, all right? Um, so go ahead and uh, update the drivers, all right? And say, browse my computer for driver software. Let me pick a, from a list of device drivers and then choose uh, show all devices, click next. Go to have disk and point to this uh, the folder where you unzip the USB drivers to. Again, I'll have a link to the zip file on my site, so check that out. So I'm gonna go to under my download folder, USB driver, and then go ahead and click on Android WinUSB.inf. Hit OK. Uh, hit OK. 
and you'll get a set of drivers. Just go ahead and choose the first one, Android AD interface, say next. If you get a warning, just say yes. And this will install Android ADB interface, close, and you should get uh, Android ADB interface. Now, if you don't see this, there may be some times where you don't see it, even though you're in Clock My Recovery or Twerp Recovery. Uh, that means you may be using like a really old version of Clock My Recovery or Twerp, or it could be something wrong with um, your Windows computer. I mean, the thing with Windows drivers is sometimes it's, you know, it causes havoc so if you have another computer go ahead and try that and if that doesn't work you probably have an older version of clock my recovery that does not support adb so once you have this we're all ready to go um, next go ahead and download fastboot.zip uh, it's this one here go ahead and download i'll have links to it also go ahead and unzip it double click and extract all files or use your favorite uh, unzipping software and you'll get a folder uh, called fastboot right and this will have all the files you'll need for Mac, Linux, and Windows. So go ahead and copy. Uh, for example, the problem with this Kindle Fire is that the user was not able to copy over uh, CM11, which he was trying to install. That's where he failed. So I'm going to go ahead and download uh, CM11 for the Kindle Fire 8.9, which is a Kindle a CM11. Uh, blah blah gem dot zip so i'm going to go ahead and do a copy all right and do a copy and i'm going to go ahead and go to my fastboot folder the folder uh where you have all the fastboot files i'm going to simply and paste it in here and copy any files um you want to copy over to your uh your android device all right once that's done go ahead and open up a terminal uh, go ahead and go to start all right and then go ahead and type CMD uh, for Windows if you have Mac or Linux go ahead and open up a terminal if you don't know how to open up a terminal just Google it I'll show you how all right next we're gonna go ahead and use some uh, commands here to go into this directory so type CD space downloads enter and then type CD space fastboot enter like that all right and next what you can type is ADB uh, space devices now for Mac and Linux I have uh, you will have to enter something very similar to it nearly identical I'll have all the instructions you'll have to enter for Linux or Mac so refer to that um, but the first two part is the same this part is gonna just add like dot slash ADB dash Mac or Linux for like that but go ahead and refer to that but I'm gonna go ahead and show you for Windows here go ahead and type ADB devices all right, since you have the drivers installed, you should get uh, some, a serial number for your thing and it should say recovery. If you see this, you're good to go. You're, you'll be able to transfer any files um, to your Kindle Fire or any Android device. Uh, and go ahead and type ADB space push, which means copy. And then go ahead and type in the file name. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and type the CM blah blah stuff. What you can do is type CM11, the first couple letters letters of the file name, and hit the tab key. Oh, it didn't work for some reason. Uh, whoops, it's CM-11, sorry. CM- I'm gonna go ahead and hit the tab key. It'll fill in the na exact name of the file name. And then I'm gonna type space slash SD card slash dot like that. Exactly like that. And this will copy over uh, this file to the root directory of my Kindle Fire here. Go ahead and hit enter. And this should take anywhere between five to 10 seconds, depending on the size of the file. All right, and we should be all good to go. And you can use the same method to copy over any files you need, but since we just need to get this Kindle Fire booted, uh, we're just gonna copy over the ROM file. And later after it boots, you know, you can get, just download the Google Apps uh, straight onto the tablets after connecting to the internet, and it should be all good to go. All right, so it should be almost done here. And again, this works on any Android device that has Clock Mod Recovery or Tour Recovery. Um, you just have to know how to install the drivers if you're using Windows. In Linux or Mac, uh, you should be good to go. So that's it, that's done. The copy uh, is done. And let's go to our Android device. All right, I'm back on my twerp. Now I'm gonna go to install here and go to your SD card folder, which is your internal storage. And boom shakalaka, I got my, cop 
I got my file copied over. Sorry, I just got up. And uh, I can go ahead and install it. And my Kindle Fire will finally boot. Um, again, you can use this method for anything uh, that uh, uh, where you, you know, any device that does not have an external micro SD card, you don't have an OTG cable, um, you can use this to copy files over to your Android device. It works on any Windows, Mac, or Linux. You just need a computer. Um, also, once you have done this, and if you don't see the file, sometimes that happens, just try it again. Like, you know, if you try like two or three times, it'll eventually show, show on the Torp or Clock My Recovery. Or sometimes you may have to reboot, uh, reboot recovery to actually see the file. Sometimes, you know, there's like a, a what do you call it, quirk in the uh, twerp or clock my recovery where it doesn't see it unless you reboot it or um, try to copy it again. But you'll eventually get it on your device. Anyway, I just wanna show you how to do this in emergency situations. Um, you'll be able to uh, recover your Android device, whether it's an Android smartphone or tablet. And thanks guys for watching this video. As you can see, you can easily, quickly recover your Android device even if you have no OS installed. Um, you can use ADB commands to copy files over. This is one of the basics you should know uh, if you want to be super high on Android. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And uh, as always, stay yeah. on Android.